Hello again. I didn't expect this, but there was some, um, I'm just speaking on the response to my um, last video, Suffer It Be So, but there is no help but self-help. And I thank you for the responses um, because um, I had mentioned that that is what I learned. Now, my lessons in life um, is not the lessons in life. You know, my lessons in life, I'm just sharing what I've and of course, basically, I'm not um, talking of everyone, I'm talking about what I do. Now, I'm not looking at, um, I'm not here to assert that everyone is going to um, suffer and come to the same conclusion that I did. I'm just sharing what I know. That's it. And if you're fortunate enough to have people in your life that you're able to um, trust with, good for you, good for you. Um, there was a question um, by someone that says, um, what do you think the issue was with your friend's wife? Well, when I was um, staying there, see what, what it was is that the um, the card that I um, presently have it's a Mercedes Benz. It's, it's like a um, a 2006 Mercedes Benz, and it's a beautiful car. It's, it, it was it was um, it's in very good shape, and I, I take care of the car a lot. Um, previously, it was her car. Now, formerly, my friend and his wife had to. Um, move to Texas and stay out there for one year because of um, they needed to get their Section 8 out of Texas so that they could move back here. And so they had two or three vehicles, but I'm, I'm, I'm only able to count two that they had. So um, one was his car and one was his wife's car. Um, the car that I'm driving right now is used to belong to his his wife. And so he decided to drive his car back to Texas instead of um, hers. And so what happened was they decided to sell the car. And so um, he told her, well, um, DA needs a car, so why don't you um, sell the car to him? And so um, they sold the car to me. And um, the reason why I bring that up is because numerous times she would tell me how much she missed the vehicle and um, and, and therefore how much she, she wished that she still had the vehicle because I take care of it better than she did. I'm always keeping my vehicles clean and looking nice and, and everything. But, you know, I always knew that she didn't want to let the vehicle go. It was the circumstances that they were in. And I had even told him that once I get on my feet and I get me another vehicle, I was going to give her that car back with the title and everything. I was going to wait for her birthday. Now I paid twelve hundred for the car, which was a um, phenomenal deal. But you know, to pay that less for a Mercedes Benz is unheard of. However, I thought that keeping the car in the family would be sufficient because as I told him, I said, what I'm going to do, I said, once I get a car, because I was going to get either um, a Benz 2000 
um, seven or eight because I like those models. Those 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 models still look like Mercedes Benz, and those have sunroofs. But because it was him and his wife, I was going to give her that that car back on her birthday. And so when she would tell me how much she missed the car, she can't stand seeing the car. And and um, she told me one time she was on the phone with one of her friends and she has to suffer to see the car every day. Um, a lot of times I felt like that was the reason why all of a sudden she had um, this seal for me and against me. But little that she knew, and I'm not saying this, you know, to make anybody feel stupid or guilty or anything like that. But before all of that transpired, I told him that I'm going to give her that car back because it was against her, her, her wishes because she just got caught in a very um, bad circumstances and she had to do what she she felt she had to do. And so by my not having a vehicle at the time, this is the reason why he asked me, hey, you know that Benz that we have, do you want to buy it? Because I can only drive one car to Texas. And I told him yes. I told him yes because I needed a vehicle. And so that's how um, that transpired, but it's, it's, it's a shame that things went like that. But like I say, I don't, I don't have any um, animosity because that's, it was, it was tremendous what I had to go through. But when you have a clear understanding of everything and anything that'll bring you closer to the facts and the creator itself, the confidence that I have now with the creator, you can't put a price on that. You 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 can't you can't put a price on it. But um, it just goes to show you how getting attached to material things sometimes compromises our moral standards against human beings. You know, so it's 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 just a shame. You know, and um, a lot of us brothers we well I, I can't speak for myself because i was never crazy enough to get married but a lot of brothers out there believe in that myth and i'm going to call it a myth happy wife happy life you know happy spouse happy house you know that's coming from a man who's compromising his own morals and his own happiness for the sake of another woman. Personally, if you're not happy, that's you. I used to date this woman just for a little while. And she was the, um, I won't say ex-wife of the Whispers, but she was married to the lead singer of the group, The Whispers. Beautiful, beautiful sister. But all at the same time, she was still mourning her husband's death. And I think that he was, um, I'm not certain, but I think that he was, um, had passed on, I think it was like 10, 10 years. And it takes um, some people longer to get over their, um, their spouse and I, I I would say I understand that but I don't know what it means because I've, I've, I've never been to it and so when um I was dating her she was telling me I just want to be happy I just want to be happy and so I told her, I said, which implies you're not happy now. She said, no, I'm not happy. I'm looking for somebody to make me happy. And I told her, I'm not the right guy for you because I'm not gonna do anything to make you happy. 
If you are not happy with yourself, you will not be able to be happy with anyone else, even if they're happy. You won't be compatible with that particular person because you're that happy and he is. If a person is happy with themselves, at peace with themselves, whether male or female, whether male or female, otherwise, there is no compatibility. The only thing that you're going to have in common is the same thing her and I had in common. We liked sleeping together. It was just sex. And so due to the fact that she wasn't happy with herself, she struck out in many forms, you know, and then she attacked my writing. You know, she, she criticized my writing. And I don't mind criticism, constructive criticism. But once you start mocking what is dear to me, I drop you right away. I, I don't care how beautiful you are. I can't have you around me. If, 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 if you want to be in my life, you, you're not going to mock anything that I hold dear. I had a father like that. No matter what I did, he condemned it. He mocked it. You know, my um, two sons' mother, she was the same way. You, you can't do anything right with people like that. So I left it be and I sent her on her way. But um, the whole situation was he wanted to make her happy. Um, he was in, he's, he, he's in the position to where he, his presence is just there, but he has very little, if not any say so in what transpires. Um, no one cared about how that was going to inconvenience me. And when I was first asked, what are you going to do? I did not ask them, can I come there and stay? I said, I have a car, bro. I'm going to sleep in my car. I was willing to suffer through that until I got on my feet. They said, you can come here because you're always here for us and, and everything. So, you know, anytime he needs you, you're there. Hey, that's my big bro. I'm going to be there. I'll take a bullet for that man. I will take a bullet for him. I will take a bullet for him today. And the reason why I still love him, I still love him, is because I know that the decision was not his own. So that's pretty much it. This is this this is a very short um, response, but um, that's pretty much all it was. You know, I, I I think that was a collaboration, you know, going on of um, the reason why I was manipulated out. But that's fine because I survived it, you know, and I learned a valuable lesson in all of this. And so that's pretty much it. And that's, and that's this. I, I want to move on from this. I mean, you know, even though I'm I'm um, kind enough to um, give a response videos, but due to the fact that um, this man and even his wife means so much to me, I don't want to um, elaborate on this too long because I'm just sharing the lesson that I got out of it. And uh, I'm just going to let the creator deal with the rest. But like I say, the, uh, was one, one more question. How has that affected our relationship? Well, it's affected our relationship because in, in a limited way, because due to the fact of how it was handled, you know, without my doing anything, I have to limit myself. I have to limit my presence. I have to limit my involvement. I have to limit everything, you know, so, um, and that's, that's just the way I feel about it, you know, because I can't put my peace of mind at risk trying to um, repair a wound that I didn't inflict. So 
with that being said, um, I have to um, start getting ready because I have to go in uh, work tonight. But um, this is all I have to say about it. And um, I appreciate everyone's um, attention who gave the previous video some attention. And so, oh, but it's one more question. How did it affect you physically? Well, I, I gained, I gained weight. You know, I've gained about 10 or, or 15 pounds. But I'm, I'm working to get all of that off. That's that's really easy. I just get back in the boxing gym. You know, is 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 you know what what I noticed it was an up and down process. Because when I would go to the gym about three times a week, I would get in there and spar, and then um, only getting about one, two, or three hours of sleep. The next day, I wasn't able to go to the gym. And so my, my weight was fluctuating like this. It was going up and down, up and down, up and down. And so now that I'm in a um, um, stable environment, um, I plan on losing about 20 pounds and getting back down to my um, my um, normal weight, which is between 175 and 185. But thank you for asking, because that keeps me on my toes. Keeps, keeps me on my toes. Okay, everyone, I, I, I appreciate you, but um, I just wanted to um, um, share with you what I went through. And like I said before, I'm a very transparent person. And I talk about things that go on with me where most people wouldn't dare tell the public because they are pretty much slaves to the public. Well, I don't want nobody to think this. I don't want nobody to say that I'm in control of my emotions, I'm in control of my thinking, I'm in control. I, I don't really care what, what, what people say. It doesn't mean anything. I don't I don't care. I know that I'm dealing with human beings. And so that's that's a human that's a human factor. I mean you you're gonna always have people that's gonna say sarcastic and crazy things, especially in our community. You know, the black community. I mean especially there. You talking about black folks? Yes, yes, I'm talking about you. Yes, I am. And so with all of that being said, um, I have to start getting ready for work. And so, as I always say, everyone stay human and y'all have a good night. Peace.